watching Virginie TV, the perfect place to become a little bit French. And today we are going back to school. C'est la rentrée des classes. La rentrée des classes, back to school. This is what happens every year in France in September. C'est la rentrée des classes. So to give you an idea, a school year in France usually lasts from the beginning of September to the very beginning of July, sometimes the end of June. And then children have July and August off and it is called les grandes vacances, les grandes vacances, and it does feel grand, grand. It feels like it's about 10 years when you're a kid. Nowadays, two months go like that, but it's pretty good. Okay, so let's pretend that today is la rentrée des classes for you too, and you are going to French class, French school with me, avec moi. So I'm going to share four things uh, with you today, nasal sounds, vowels, and how to position your mouth. I'm going to do a little bit like that so you can see. Some uh, French expressions or words used in English, and then the opposite, English words that we use in French, and how to pronounce them properly. Okay, so let us start with the nasal. It's called a nasal sound because when you make these sounds, it kind of sounds like you have a cold. It sounds like you have a cold and so it's called the nasal sound. You have uh, three nasal sounds. On, un, on. On, un, on. So just think of words that you already know. You know bonjour. Bonjour has the nasal sound on. You probably know the word vin, wine, vin. Vin has the nasal sound un. And of course, you know France. France has the nasal sound en. So always go back to things you already know. Even if you think you don't know anything, that's not true. You always do. Bonjour, on, on, vin, vin, and France, France. Look at the shape of my mouth. You can watch this video as many times as you want. The shape is very important. This will take us to our second point, the vowels. When I lived in England, at some point I worked with an English girl who spoke French and she always made fun of me and French people because we talk like that with our mouth out there. And I thought, no we don't. And then I paid attention to myself and I realized actually we do. So if you're gonna want to pronounce French really well, properly, and you want to make some great efforts, the shape of your mouth is really gonna help you. Because if you're not doing the right shape, the right sounds cannot come out of your mouth. Okay, so let's go through a few vowel sounds. There are a lot more vowel sounds in French than in English, so be ready. Okay. So we are starting with ooh, 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 and the word is boudoir, boudoir. You probably know boudoir and Marion Toilette. The next vowel sound is wa, wa, and you know the word film noir, wa. The next word is Bordeaux, o. The next vowel, O, oh, Bordeaux, Bordeaux. Do you know the wine, Bordeaux? U, now that's a tricky one because it doesn't exist in English. U, U, look at the shape of my mouth. U is not U, it's different. Can you hear the difference? U, U, and look at my mouth. So U, the word sublime, for instance. Ou, we had boudoir. Next vowel, on. On is a nasal we just did. On, bonjour. Then we have en for France. En, okay, France. And then the last one I want to share with you today is e. e. Uh, can you see how my mouth is out there? Beurre. Do you know the word beurre? It means butter. Okay, so 
now we are done with our vowels. I'm going to share four words with you uh, that you guys use in English, but they're French, and I just want to make sure you're pronouncing them properly. One is cul-de-sac, cul-de-sac, not cul-de-sac, cul-de-sac. So next time you find yourself in a cul-de-sac, cul-de-sac, say cul-de-sac, and you'll impress your friends. The other uh, word I wanted to share with you was faux pas. Faux pas literally translates as false step. So you know when you say something you should have said, you do something you should have done. Imagine you're taking a wrong step or, or a step in the wrong direction. Tête à tête, tête means head, head to head. Tête à tête is um, one to one could be a coffee, could be a meal, and tete a tete. And then the last one is very important to me because I hear it wrong all the time and I love this so much. Pain au chocolat. Pain au chocolat. Literally means bread at chocolate. Some people here call, call it chocolate croissant. It's a pain au chocolat. There's a T at the end of chocolat, but you don't pronounce it. And pain is the nasal sound, same as in vin, wine, pain au chocolat. Okay, and now you'll laugh because we have some English words, lots of English words that we use in the French language. So you already know them, they're English, you just have to put an outrageous French accent on them. And I'm gonna uh, share some words that end in er. So, let's go. Designer. 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 Manager. These we say all the time. Manager. They're in our normal, everyday French language. Manager. Bestseller. This one's really good. Bestseller. So, a book that sells very well. And bestseller. And then the last one. So many people want to say computer, but no, we don't say computer, we say ordinateur. Et voilà, c'est terminé pour aujourd'hui. We're done for today. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you had fun. If so, why don't you come join our classes? You can click on the link to find out more information about a little French Truly groups. This was your French friend Virginie helping you become a little bit French. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir.